All right, we're in a helicopter flying handbook. We're on chapter 9. We're on page 16, 16 of 20. We're turns around a point. All right, turns around a point. This training maneuver requires flying constant radius turns around a per pre-selected point on the ground using a bank angle of approximately 30 degrees to 45 degrees while maintaining both the constant altitude and the same distance from the point throughout the maneuver. The objective, as in other ground reference maneuvers, is to develop the ability to subconsciously control the helicopter while dividing attention between flight path, how the winds are affecting the turn and ground references, and watching for other air air traffic in the vicinity. This is also used in high reconnaissance observation and photography flight technique. The factors and principles of drift correction that are involved in S-turns are also applicable to this maneuver. As in other ground track maneuvers, a constant radius around a point requires the pilot to change the angle of bank constantly and make numerous control changes to compensate for the wind. The closest the helicopter is to a direct downwind heading at which the ground speed is greatest, the steeper the bank and the greater the rate of turn required to establish the proper wind correction angle. The closer the helicopter is to the direct upwind heading at which the ground speed is least, the shallower the bank and the lower the rate of the turn required. To establish the proper wind correction angle, therefore, throughout the maneuver, the bank and the rate of turn must be varied gradually and in proportion to the ground speed corrections made for the wind. The point selected for turns should be prominent and easily distinguishable, yet small enough to present a precise reference. Isolated trees, crossroads, and other similar small landmarks are usable, usually suitable. The point should be in an area away from, the commu afraid from communities, livestock, or groups of people on the ground to prevent possible annoyance or hazard to others, since the maneuver is performed between 500 and 800 feet AG out. The area selected should also afford an opportunity for a safe emergency auto rotation in the event it becomes necessary. All right. Just as S turns require the helicopter to be turned into wind, in addition to varying the bank, so do turns around a point. During the downwind half of the circle, the helicopter's nose must be progressively turned toward the inside of the circle. During the upwind half, the nose must be progressively turned toward the outside. The downwind half of the turn around the point may be compared to the downwind side of the S-turn, while the upwind half of the turn around point may be compared to the upwind side of the S-turn. Upon gaining experience in performing turns around a point and developing a good understanding of the effects of winds, drift, and varying of the bank angle and wind correction angle as required, entry into the maneuver may be from any point. When entering the maneuver at any point, the radius of the turn must be carefully selected, taking into account the wind velocity and ground speed so that an excessive bank is not required later to maintain the proper ground track. All right, S turn common errors, faulty entry technique, poor planning, orientation, or division of attention, uncoordinated flight control application, and proper correction for wind drift. Failure to maintain selected altitude or airspeed, failure to maintain equal distance around the point, and excessive bank angles. All right. It was turns around a point. All right. Let's see. Okay. We'll hold off right there before we go into traffic patterns. Uh, that was page uh, 17 to 20 in Chapter 9, Helicopter Flying Hairbooks. See ya.